Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to continue on with the main quest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be going over here to mid and seeing what else we need to do. I think Mid might need some help tidying up. If I don't come up with something soon... You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent! One down, two to go. So... What's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry? Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans, then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone, to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And, not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Looks like we have another side quest over here, too. We do. Let's do the side quest first, and then we'll uh, do the main quest, since the side quest is going to be closer. Good day to you, Sid. Oh, the crystals we get from this. 
And we had to dig a new cellar. Ah, Clive, your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or... It may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right, I will. Right. And see what the people of the village have to say. I'd better find out if this is just nerves, or something we need to take more seriously. You are right, Sid? Something on your mind? There is, actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them has seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. Hopefully this won't be a long quest. <sighs> the crystals we get from the tailor all... You're quite talented with that rod of yours. Do you have a moment? There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. And where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Seems Lorbert's pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Toggle? Shall we go and investigate? Hopefully uh, we don't have to fight a Yojimbo. You there. Fuck! He's seen us. Get them before they escape! Black Shields. Here. What the hell are you doing here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. Give me thunder! Jesus, this guy is way back there. Stay down. Too slow. Stay 
Why were they here? Were they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin. Well, it wasn't too long, at least. Well, maybe. It is yet to be determined. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sanbrac. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered. And he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him. And slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty all under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades, and our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. 
What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quintin. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. I'm not going to change his mind. Guess that ends that quest line? Like we did everything, I suppose? I don't know. We need to go this way. Just to make sure I'm going the right way. Maybe? I don't know. I'm so confused with this map sometimes. Okay, yep. Gonna look at the map one more time just to make sure. I know I'm being a little excessive with that, but for good reason. I don't have to double back and backtrack and all that stuff if I don't have to. Awesome. Got a potion to heal ourselves. <sighs> Sid, um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Anybody home? This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Nice try. Too slow.
That was actually really easy to kill that. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Eh, I'm sure that could come in handy uh, eventually. I bet this is going to get cleared out once uh, they take that away. Maybe we can get through here or something. Let's go back to mid. Maybe we'll have enough time to finish this uh, main quest. We're seeing troops amassing at every border crossing. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back, so. All yours. Come again. I may have more for you. I think Mid might need some help tidying up. Oh, if I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they'd both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him, see what he makes of it? Right away. Man, back and forth, back and forth. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine? Whatever will that girl think of next? 
What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list here. White chocobo eggs? Pepio nuts? Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited, effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction. Hence, Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Taya. Okay, awesome. We don't have another side quest. Although there's something new over here in the shop. No. Oh. Where's Jill? Welcome, welcome. Yeah. 
Yeah, no. I'll be here if you need me. Keep them pilchers nice and chilled. I won't have you spoiling them. Those pepio nuts. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Come! You'll not find a bruised pippin in the book. Fresh cuts! Come and get them before they're gone. What can I interest you in today? I hope it's to your liking. Oi, don't touch anything. If that's what you want. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Oh. Is there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. Are you all right? <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Okay, so we're at a little over 30 minutes. I think we can probably finish up this quest and then end the video.
at least I would like to finish up this quest and then end the video. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obolus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon do are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. So close to a level. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Okay, so before we give Mid the good news, I think we're going to end the video. And then when we come back, we'll finish up Mid's quest and continue on with the main quest. So I want to start by telling everybody, like always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.